Hey guys, welcome back to the second episode of Decision Point Outdoors. We're so excited. We're down in South Alabama hog hunting. We want you guys to go with us as Chappie and I pursue the swamp hogs of Alabama. And we want to give a special thanks to Rob, James, and Zach Merritt for hosting us, taking care of us. And so put your seatbelt on, put your waders on, and let's get into the Alabama swamp. Fred Bear once advised us to immerse ourselves into the outdoors for a cleansing of the soul. Welcome to the show dedicated to giving you that opportunity and more. We hope you'll meet the Creator who offers a true cleansing of all souls. Abbott Outdoors is proud to present Season 3 of Decision Point Outdoors. This field has been known to produce some really good deer. <laughs> I was wondering that. I've been doing this 21 years. So this has been a uh, a good year. So. Hey, Chappie, how's your trip? It was great, 120 miles an hour, and I'm here back. <laughs> We've been looking for it. Man, you're excited. Well, I'm definitely excited. I'm glad to be here. I'll just let them all know we're here. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah. I'm glad to be here in Alabama. I'm telling you, these hogs are really uh, wreaking havoc. That's what I heard. You think two little old country boys like us can get it done? Uh, I think I brought enough ammunition. Hey, man, I'm ready. Let's give them some lead poison. I think that's exactly it. <laughs> it's been 100 degrees, man. It's been so hot. Man. So I, I I would say let's get a lot of rest tonight. I mean, a whole lot of it's hot. Oh, I'm glad to hear you say that. That was going to be my plan for the, like tomorrow. Let's just sleep. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. So tomorrow evening we've got a hunt and uh, I'm yeah. excited. They've been seeing a lot of hogs and uh, good. I'm looking forward to it. Hey guys, we're down here in South Alabama and I mean it's hot. We're with Zach Merrick, and uh, they've got a really bad infestation problem down here. Zach, you want to tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we're here, and uh, we're on a piece of property here, and we planted some uh, summer plots, and the pigs come in here, and they just demolish them, um, and it kind of hurts the deer population, and the nutrition the deer need uh, when we plant these summer plots. Uh, the pigs come in here and tear it, slam to pieces, and it takes us hours on top of hours to get our places back right for the deer. Uh, you've got a little contraption behind us here. We're set. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Uh, this trap here, um, we'll come up, we'll set it up on the property. Uh, we'll pull a little corn outside and inside, and these pigs will come up and uh, eat in here. And you can pull a uh, live feed and watch it. These pigs will go in here and you make sure all your, all your pigs are in and you get on your phone and hit a uh, you drop the gate from anywhere you can be here. Be anywhere in the world. They're pretty much caught, right? They're caught. There ain't nothing they can do unless they feel like jumping over. So next step is come in and take care of them. And come in, take care of them, reset, and uh -huh. have another shot. Well, I'm sure that's making a big den here. It is. It is. Just not big enough. Not big enough. I, I don't think we'll ever solve the problem. We can hold them at bay just to kill. That's right. That's right. set on our first night here in our Alabama hog hunt. If it's not already evident from the looks on my face, uh, it is hot August 23rd. I don't know what I'm doing up. It's so hot here. But uh, they got some serious hog problems in Alabama. Um, just 
like they do in most of the southern states. So we are here to eradicate problem. And we're gonna try to help out the locals and take down a few of these beasts. Your hunting location is unlike any other. The smells, sights, and sounds could never be replicated by a chemical or produced in a factory. The only way to not stand out here is to blend in. Scent Blender is the industry's first site-specific cover scent system. Create your own scents by gathering native plant material, blending with water, and splaying your gear. Stop coating yourself with mass-produced chemicals and start harnessing the native aromas of your exact location. Scent Blender. Blend in to your environment. Today, we're talking about Athlonomics. It's a simple idea that when you buy Athlon Optics, your dollar goes further. But who is it made for? Seasoned hunters? Competitive shooters? What about outdoor enthusiasts? It's all of the above. Athlon designs optics with you and your wall in mind. Choose Athlon to see the clear difference for yourself. Check our ranges in here. side and all the way out to about 150, 160 down the left, so as long as we can see him. Well, those pesky hogs decided not to join us that evening, so we watched a few deer from our stands and then 
Blue and I decided we were going to join back up with Zach and head out and do a little thermal hunting for the night. I mean, after all, with as hot as it is outside, I was ready for that sun to go down anyways. Hey, let's go chase them hogs in the dark. Just right. Athlon. Ridiculously good optics. Well, night number two, what's the plan, brother? What are we gonna do? Yeah, good good question. So uh I suppose we're gonna go scan some peanut fields. These hogs down here have torn up everything, torn up Jack down here. And uh I guess last night. On her hunt, we've seen what probably 25 no, yeah, yeah, quite a few. It's just every field, every other field. It's crazy. So, I think we're going to try to scan some uh, fields tonight, peanut fields, and I don't think we're going to come up short. I think we're going to no, see no. the hogs. Uh, for the viewers out there, right. I think they need to understand that, that hunting's just more than it's more than it's where we make relationships Absolutely. with fellow hunters, mm -hmm. and uh, that's that's exactly what's happened here with you and I. Oh, yeah. You know, we's on that big black bear hunt. You and your brother was up there in uh, southeast Kentucky, and that's where I live. And I was hunting too, and I was by myself way back in the yeah. Appalachian Mountains. And uh, I really appreciate you guys taking time to stop everything you was doing yeah. and help me. Yeah. That's what it's all about. It's just reaching out, and saying, "Hey, we're here. If you need us. We're here to help. Whatever the situation is." Absolutely, and I guess I'll add one more thing. Uh, through growing in the last, what, two years? been two years now. Two years. Two years. We just met two years ago. I've eaten I've, I've eat at his house. He's eaten at my house. Uh, Spent Thanksgiving dinner with y'all. Sure did. Yeah, yeah. Down, yeah, 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 yeah a bear hunting again. Yeah, right. That's right. And yeah. you know what? This year coming up, I've invited James and his brother to come and hunt whitetails in Kentucky. And uh, we're going to roll the red carpet out. I'm telling you, we just keep growing this thing. It gets better and better. James, I really appreciate your friendship. Absolutely. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Thank, Thank you, you, brother.
as you've seen, the first two evenings didn't go so well for us, and we are still unsuccessful on getting these hogs on the ground, even in the evening thermal hunts. Look, we're going to try on our final evening sit to go out to a couple tower stands overlooking some feeders where they've seen some hogs. We're just hoping some of these things will come in right before dark. Uh, we were kind of clued in on something, though, that I want to let you know about. We were told to take some wasp spray to these stands because, after all, nobody's been setting in them yet this year. So, look, one way or the other, it's about to go down where I think I'm going to get my first confirmed kill in Alabama. I don't know how well you can see me, but it is our final night down here in Alabama on our hog hunt. We're going to go do a little bit of thermal hunting, but um, and I, I climbed into this uh, tree stand you see beside me, and uh, there was a whole lot of wasps in there, a whole lot of nests. So I started my aerial combat maneuvers with my wasp spray, and uh, <laughs> it didn't seem to be winning when I found the main base was right underneath my arm. They unleashed, came all around me. Uh, I tried to get out. Instead, I fell down. So I fell out of this. And I just wanted to tell you guys, this has been one of those really challenging hunts that we're probably going to make an episode out of this just to talk to you guys about safety, if for no other reason. Because we've had some really rare things happen. I don't do that. Um, but it happened to me tonight. So, y'all, be safe. Check your tree stands. Check your tower stands every year before you start hunting. For all the different things that might be making it a home in the off season. That applies to anything. And the, uh, actually, it's military again. The Adjutant General for the State of Alabama, he would come to our academy. I was an instructor at Alabama uh, AMA in Alabama where we trained students. But yeah. he always said in his briefings three words. And it might be an hour and a half long story, but it always says, "Be, know, and do. Be where you're supposed to be. Know what you're supposed to know, and go do what you're supposed to do." He said, if you'll implement those three words, and it, this was hunting, this would go into Walmart, getting groceries, or it's just daily living. That's right. He said, implement them three words and you'll be successful. Are, are you one of those people that has to know how everything works? Um, uh, with my iPhone, uh, I just, I can't figure out how everything works. I can't understand how I can call somebody and talk into this box and my voice waves just go into this little box and then shoot across the universe and then go into somebody else's phone and they can understand what I'm saying. I, I, I gotta be honest, I can't tell you how everything works. But if you're one of those people that wants to know how the most important thing in the universe works, then you ought to come and visit Grace Point Baptist Church because Grace Point doesn't have answers maybe about your cell phone and as a pastor, I really can't figure all this out. But I can tell you somebody who does and I can introduce you to somebody who does know how everything works and that's the God of this universe. And we would love to introduce you to him at 5415 Valley Station Road. Maybe, maybe you need to reconnect with the church. Maybe you need to reconnect with the Lord or maybe you need to connect for the first time. Grace Point Baptist Church will be the place for you to figure out how really the most important thing in this universe works. And that is how God has saved us. Connect to Him, Grace Point Baptist Church. Hey guys, welcome back. Pigs 3, Champion Blue, Zero. We're just about in the ninth inning. And I've got to tell you, Chappie's done went back home and... Zach called me and said, you need to get up here. We've got daytime pigs, so that's where we are. So you stay tuned. We're going to get it done. All right, folks, I want to show you that uh, we actually can film hogs getting shot. I've done it several times myself. Filmed several veterans. I've even filmed myself take a few hogs. But uh, we're just going to show you a little footage of some of those because, after all, we were really struggling getting it done down in Alabama.
down. <laughs> he dropped in his tracks, brother. Thanks. Awesome <laughs> shot. And I'm grateful to be here. Um, I know what the outdoors means to me, and I know that uh, I know what it means to you. I'll never forget this, and I'm grateful, and I want just want to thank you for having me here. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. All right, we're gonna return with Blue and head back to Alabama. You know that time he headed down there without me um, to go shoot a hog or something. Maybe it's me. Listen, listen. Hundred percent. Oh my god. I didn't think we were ever gonna do it. I dropped two myself. Oh my god, I can't believe it happened. What a hunt this week down in Alabama. I mean, we had everything going against us. It seemed like the hogs didn't cooperate, the heat was excessive, and of course all these safety issues with uh, Blue scoping his head and with me falling out of that tower stand. Just want to remind you all, safety is an issue to be mindful of from the off season because you never know what may have inhabited those tower stands during the off season. So make sure you're checking that. But look, safety's not just an issue in the tower stands and in the, our hunting lives, but it's also in life in general. You know, the Bible really warns about that, as a matter of fact, it says that the devil, the thief, came to steal, kill, and destroy you. And look, it even talks about all the things that are in the world that he uses to do that very thing, the lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. That's all that's in the world. And all of that, he says, is not from God. It's not what he designed for you to go after. Yet seems to be the very things that we do go after. We do look after the things that please our flesh and that we want with our eyes. But hey, as hunters, I think we tend to fall into the trap of the pride of life far too often. Might even be able to say that was uh, present on this very hunt. You know, sometimes our pride keeps us from asking for help in some of those areas that would have kept us safe. Look, you can do the same thing right now in life. You can just try to go about it your own way or you can ask for help from the one who has the solution to all of life, and that's Jesus Christ. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. You want to go to heaven? Christ is that way. You want the solution to life? You want that safety measure to life? That is Jesus Christ. Accept him as your Savior. You can go to the bottom of the page right there and see our, uh, our website on your screen, and you can contact us. We'd love to hear from you about how you took that very awesome safety measure of accepting Christ as your Savior.